Episode 1, The Deadliest Issue in the History of the World, When a Calorie Isn't a Calorie Introduction I doubt this video series gets a lot of views, it's probably just not that interesting to a lot of people, but it should be, because it affects you no matter who you are. I also hope it doesn't remain relevant for long, because that will mean humans have addressed the deadliest issue of all time and are doing something about it. I truly believe if you watch it, you will not just gain knowledge, you will also be intrigued and entertained throughout. In episode 1, I give an intro and a general background of the reason for this publication. In episode 2, I am going to teach you about the basics of nutrition labels, I will lodge some complaints, and provide possible solutions. In episode 3, I will discuss a very important study conducted in 2011 along with a few more recent studies. I want to note now that I mentioned the study several times before I actually get into the details of it, but that is okay and it will all become clear throughout. In episode 4, I will tie in how law is affected by the material discussed and I will provide a very important conclusion section. I tried to make very complex material into something everyone can understand, but some of it will be hard to understand with one watch. I aim to build upon the smart scientists of the past as well as fix some things I see as their mistakes. First off, I have to get this cliché out of the way. That is, everyone is different, and I am specifically applying this phrase to how each individual digests food. In reality, science says one individual human is genetically not much different than another human at all, with just under 99% of our DNA being the same. That means all the differences between the most diverse humans comes from about 1-2% to of our DNA. But when it comes to digestion everyone is different is quite accurate. There are billions of life processes occurring which could mean the difference in spirit individuals' digestion of food. Even you yourself, under different circumstances, will process the food differently. For example, think of the variables, which include but are not limited to age, gender, muscle-to-fat ratio, amount of physical activity and hormone function, each of these representing trillions of variables in themselves. In science, things are almost always supposed to add up. There are a few things humans can't figure out, which given our current tools, technology, and scientific theorems one might think we should be able to solve. For example, I would rule out humans figuring out a provable size of the universe, because our technology is just not there yet. Of course, people have tried and hell, one of them may have even been right, but there is no way to prove it. But energy, is something humans seem to have at least some comprehension of. E equals mc squared anybody? And the energy density of food? While that seems like something we should be able to run many, many tests and experiments on, to figure out a measurement for it, now I know what some of you are saying. But we do have a measurement for it. The calorie. Well if you don't know it already, I am here to tell you the calorie is inaccurate and mostly false. While the measurement of a calorie is not quite useless, it is certainly nowhere near the optimal system and in fact is being used in a criminal manner currently. I find it interesting many of human scientific conundrums have to do with a couple things we all live with, the human body and brain. Human biology, including the body and brain, is an area which needs serious advancement, which I believe is achievable if we take a different approach to calculation and description. Furthermore, I believe private companies have begun, or will begin, to use other methods of calculating caloric density of food, while the FD continues to use the same flawed system and labeling, having full knowledge that it is flat out incorrect. Companies can keep this information proprietary, in essence, exploiting it for capital gain, by either continuing practices they know are false with a complicit FD, CDC, USDA, etc., or creating a business strategy around it, such as a weight loss system which uses the information. While I don't blame the companies who spent millions to do private testing, I do blame the FDA, legislature, courts, and others, who refuse to act on this issue, which is most likely the deadliest issue in the history of the world. Episode 2 is next in the playlist, or you can click the box in the bottom left of this video to get there.